Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosen here. So I've been talking for the last few weeks about my attempts to figure out my home internet situation. I have been having difficult connectivity for the past year. In Israel, where I'm based, we have really two uh, infrastructures, Bezik and Hot. Now there technically is fiber optic in some parts of the country, but we can't get fiber optic. And that really means there's two internets that are like resold by a bunch of different companies because Israel separates between what are called uh, Tashtid providers, infrastructure providers, and SAPACs, which are the ISPs. It's complicated exactly what the difference is, but um, we tried everything and nothing really worked. All the internet options were kind of crappy. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna, I, I'm done with this. Like we're having like an hour of, solid hour of downtime every day. And you'd call up the ISP, they're like, oh, we're so sorry, like restart the router. And you do this 10 times, you're like, come on. So um, I figured, well, there's no real options here. They're, the options are very limited. Uh, so I started looking and I came across cellular internet. So I set up a cellular router, a 4G router. And what I'm doing now is putting my ISP line into the cellular router. It's nothing fancy, just a TP-Link router. And that does failover. Failover is um, basically, I, I like to call it backup internet. So if line A goes down, your ISP line, line B, your cellular line comes up. And when ISP line A comes back, ISP goes back. And this all happens automatically and it's working fantastically. So I'm very pleased about that. But you know what, I spent so much time trying to figure all this stuff out that I came across this thing called bonding so much. And I was like, what's bonding? And bonding sounds like the dream. Like failover is like nice to have a backup connection, but if you have a sucky connection and your backup line isn't that amazing, you're just kind of pulling, pulling up and down different kind of bad connections. Bonding sounded like the thing I needed. Bonding is like when you take two or more network interfaces, so wide area networks, WANs, and you actually aggregate the bandwidth, but you do so in a way that's like completely seamless. So imagine your cellular line, your satellite, your ISP1, ISP2, everything just comes into one seamless trunk of connectivity. And from that, all the speeds are aggregated, all the bandwidth is aggregated. So if you have a 42 line and a 10.5 line, when you can get a 50.15 line. Now, what I soon figured out was that bonding is difficult, really, really difficult. So I kept hearing about this company called Speedify, and I was a bit reluctant to use them because for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, I don't like the idea of bonding on a device. I think it makes much more sense to bond at the network level. The second thing was it's a SaaS product and you need to pay a recurring monthly subscription. So I thought if you want to really figure out your home internet connectivity, invest in it once, invest in quality hardware that you own and you don't have to pay any monthly subscription. I didn't like that model, um, but I spent enough time trying to figure out bonding, running into dead ends that I said, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. Bonding, you can do it on a home network, but it's tricky. Load balancing is not the same thing. And that's the thing that from what I understand, a lot of people commonly get confused with because you know, there's, a hard, there's, there's systems like OpenWRT that support some kind of one aggregation, but it's not the same thing as, as bonding. It's more load balancing. You've got different applications and different IPs. You'll put across the WANs in different ways, but you're not gonna create this beautiful layer then there's a thing called Open uh, MTPT. There's another router firmware, and it's just so complex. You need to use a uh, you need to use a um, VNC, and you need to it's only for certain firmware support. And I was like, it seems to me to get actual bonding, you either need to go ahead and spend thousands of dollars on an enterprise grade piece of hardware, or you need to do something crazy complicated that could brick normal hardware. So I'm like, you know what? I give up. I got fill over working. I did not get bonding working, but let's give Speedify a shot. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna just give it a test and show you guys how it actually looks on Ubuntu Linux. So uh, here, is the, here is the speed tester. So firstly, let me measure the baseline connectivity. So let me just explain everything going on here. Um, I have Speedify open, but I haven't connected I'm not connected on my network manager. I'm only connected to my home internet. I've just taken down the Wi-Fi connectivity completely. So this is my ethernet connection here. 
I'm just gonna measure the speed again. You can see wireless network has gone down. So we're getting like 40, 41, 40 on the download. Now I'm not gonna show you guys the upload speed because um, I'm, I want to censor my IP address and I can't, it's really hard to find one of these speed measurement things. It doesn't automatically show your IP. It's been driving me crazy actually. So fast.com is the only one I found. So if I click show more info, it'll, it'll, it'll show my IP. So just, just trust me, it's 40. There's no, uh, no tricks going on here. Let's do one more test. We'll take two measurements on both. Now upload matters a lot to me, but probably download matters more like most people. Although upload's been tricky traditionally for me. So I'm getting 41 on the download. So now let me go ahead and switch over to, uh, I'm gonna switch from home internet to my hotspot. So the hotspot is the phone here, putting out a hotspot. My computer's connected over Wi-Fi. So this is cellular connectivity here. So now I'm on my hotspot. And uh, again, I can't like really detach network manager because uh, it's gonna be hard. So you can see it's predictably a lot slower. I'm getting way only like three, four, wait, three, mega, three megabits per second. So that's my cellular. So my wired is 40. My cellular is 3.6 to four. So if this bonding thing really works, you'd expect that we'd get like, I don't know, 44. Let's just do one more time. So we do, we test each connection twice. Now, while that excitement's going on, I'm gonna just show you guys the Ubuntu client for Speedify. Uh, so here it is in all its glory. And what it does is it can, it's, it's showing now that I'm using my Wi-Fi, right? That my Wi-Fi is what's up. Um, I've signed up for a month here um, and server is fastest server and connection settings. Now what you'll see that once I add, once I bring my Wi-Fi back up, it's going to, uh, it's going to show that as well. And then they're supposed to be bond, bonded. So uh, bonding mode is I'm going, I'm going to switch it to speed to give it the best possible chance of uh, making a difference to my connectivity here. And I am not gonna go with any of the other settings. Now, I'm gonna go into my network manager and I'm going to reconnect to ethernet. So I've just re-enabled the ethernet connection and there you go. Now we can see that we have ethernet. Um, Speedify disconnected, so I need to enable Speedify. And now Speedify is going to be bonding my hotspot with my ethernet and it's going to be telling me what my speeds are it's gonna it's starting to test the connections as you can see so this is all this is all quite exciting what's going on here so it sees I'm in Israel um, and uh, we're getting we're getting the two connections and by the way just getting this far is like further than I could get using Ubuntu and Ubuntu there is bonding in network manager to try bond an ethernet and a Wi-Fi device is, is a disaster. It's like not user-friendly at all. You have to bond only ethernet devices. I can show you that in another video, but it's, it's everything about bonding I've tried so far has been difficult. So um, this seems great. I mean, so far it's like, what, you know, what did I do? I installed a client, I connected two devices, I opened it up and now it's supposed to be make, putting them together. So, so far so good. We've got ethernet, I'm just gonna show you guys that it is indeed, uh, I failed in my IP address masking. What can you do? Um, we have IP, we have the Wi-Fi and we have the ethernet. Okay, let's go. Are we going to do better? What did I say? 44 would be, it's not actually better. We've bonded the devices and we are not seeing a speed improvement. Let's try one more time. Okay, this time we're getting up to 41, 42. So it's kind of aggregating the two connections and it's touching it up slightly. So let's take the average of that, you know, between those two figures. So 
my conclusion is that Speedify does work a little bit. Uh, the speed improvements are probably not as dramatic as some might hope. Um, and it could be useful if you're trying to put together two internet connections, uh, but I didn't see dramatic increases. That's what I would say about it. So is this something I keep on my, on my machine? I probably wouldn't pay 15 bucks a month just to get like one or two megabits per second better, even if that's the only, that's all the aggregate's going to be. Um, it might it might be that in my case with a weak cellular line and a weak ISP, it's not really worth investing in bonding. I'll just stick to failover, but uh, it does appear to work to an extent. Let's just, let's just give it a third go to be fair. Third time lucky. Can we get to something like 44 or something that's quite a bit above our baseline? Forty-one. So um, that is the result of my test. And you know what? As 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 I've got as I've already unveiled my my secret IP. Um, the upload is four. So that is not. Um, well, it's measured it. Oh, sorry, it's still measuring nine point five. What I'm typically getting on the ISP connection is something in the region of ten. So it doesn't look to me like that's really speed sped up that much either. So yeah, Spotify, uh, Speedify uh, looks like a cool concept, but. Um, I'm not entirely sure I'd be blown away by what I've seen about it so far. That's my initial impression using it for Ubuntu Linux.